Cyril's been arrested? Mr. Penner? Arrested by the police? There was a bank raid in the high street yesterday. Three armed men. But Mr. Pinner's only got two arms. <laughs> it's one of those identikit pictures, made up from a witness's description. Oh, it's obviously just a coincidence. One of the bank robbers just happens to look like your Uncle Cyril. Yeah. He swears he was at the cinema, but nobody saw him. Nobody can prove he's innocent. Wait a minute, yesterday afternoon? Yeah, that's right, I was there. And so is Mr. Pinner. I spent the whole time dropping peanut shells in his hair from the balcony. That's wonderful. Not if you're Mr. Pinner. Now we can get him out of there. I know he's a fat old pain in the tonsils, but this is heavy. We have to help him. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're a splendid boy. An angel sent from heaven to save me. Steady on, Mr. Pinner. You've saved me from catastrophe. And I thank you. <laughs> freedom, eh? Freedom! <laughs> I haven't seen him laugh so hard since that magpie flew off with Mrs. Pinner's glass eye. Enjoy it. It won't last. See you tomorrow? Definitely. Melanie! Right now. No. <laughs> Mikey? Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? Hey, oh. You're supposed to be in Mallorca. You'll have to be back here for another three weeks. Well, what kind of welcome's that? You make it sound like we threw away your train set or something. Dad, why are you here? Is everything all right? Oh, sure, son. It's just that your mom got a phone call this morning. A top job's come up at Chillbilly Ice Creams. Harry Blagg, their head of publicity. He got run over on the weekend. Run over? Yes. Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> well, not for him, of course, but for me. It's the chance of a lifetime. I've wanted that job since forever. And guess what? It looks like I'm being headhunted. I'm confused, Mom. You see, Michael, they're holding the job interview right here in London tomorrow afternoon. You cancelled your holiday just to come back for a lousy job interview? Dad... Hey, what the heck? I mean, it was only a $6,000 cruise, glorious sunshine, <laughs> fabulous scenery, the smell of the sea, and... Barney, you want to smell the sea, go in the kitchen and fan yourself with a mackerel. <laughs> this job happens to be very important to me. Honey, I know that. I don't mind. There'll be other holidays. Let's face it. Patty is one of the most sought-after people in the ice cream business. And that's not just my opinion. It's hers. <laughs> Very funny. Well, I think I'll retire. Blimey. Now, that is what I call a brief career. You haven't even got the job yet. Retire upstairs, Angelo. I have to prepare myself for the interview. Rehearse my ad-libs. We'll talk, OK? Sure, Mom. Night, everyone. Sleep well. Night, Pats. Oh, poor old Barney. I know how much that holiday meant to you. Patty is just obsessed with work. I just wanted to be happy. So what if we never got to see Spain? I mean, Spain will still be there another day. You are a good man, Barney Mason. She just doesn't appreciate you. Well, I'm ready. You ready? Uh, yes, I've just about finished the ironing, Patty. We should have got Barney to do it. That's what he's for. Can we please hurry? We're off to the shops. You surprise me. Come on, sis. Let's flash those cash cards. Right, back soon, Barney. Bye. Come on, sis. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm getting my coat. Coming, right? Go, go. Hi, Dad. Morning, son. You sleep well? Dad, do you know what you were saying last night about not getting to see Spain? Yeah, that was kind of disappointing. That was disappointing. Hey, what the? Step this way, senor. Hey, yes. <laughs>
say, say that again. What what you say? For a party. Oh, she'll like that. A 60s party. Even better. What? Well, don't worry, I'll tell you. Hey, hey, What's burning? Stoking mama thing! Most normal people forget their keys. My little sister forgets her shoes. Now, now, if we weren't always in such darn rush. Oh, hey, it's just as well you came back. There was a message from Chili Billy Ice Cream. A message? Please arrive early. We're having a 60s party all day. 60s party? Gosh, I thought it was a formal interview. So did I. A 60s party, all day. Sounds like fun. Oh no, 60s clothes. Where am I gonna lay my hands on some 60s clothes? Leave it to me, sis. Leave it all to me. <laughs> How'd it go? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> there he is. Oh, hi, honey. Hey, how'd it go? You get the job? Barney Judas Mason. <laughs> so, Mom, what happened? Mom, tell us. Your little message. Please arrive early. We're having a 60s party all day. What about it? That was not the message, Barney. The message was, please arrive early. We have restricted parking all day. Oh, dear. I must have misheard. Whoops. Whoops. Is that all you can say? Whoops! Try ouch. Ouch? Oh, well, that's certainly closer. How about, please let me curl up and die? Because that's how I felt, sitting in front of an executive interview panel looking like something that stepped out of a balloon! Patty, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You did it deliberately, didn't you? What? Hey, come on, sis. You never wanted me to get this job, did you? Well, sure I did. You deliberately and cold-bloodedly and maliciously sent me off to that interview looking like a prize dolt, didn't you? Oh, sweetheart. Don't sweetheart me, you snake in the grass. Of all the treacherous... Deceitful things! Patty, Patty, you, you are way out of line here. It was a mistake, I'm telling you. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, I sure made a mistake 20 years ago when I married you. Mom, don't! Patty, that's enough! There is no way they're going to give me that job now. Are you satisfied? You got this all wrong, Patty. No, Barney, I got you all wrong. I thought you loved me. But now I realize the horrible truth. Somebody back me up here. <laughs> what do you want? That was my question. I've a good mind to walk out in that man and never come back. Oh, you don't mean that. He needs you. And you need him. I need Barney Mason like Scott of the Antarctic needs ice in his martini. I wish I'd never married him in the first place. Say that again? I said I wish I'd never even met him. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Come with me, then. Where to? You'll see. What in the name of... Welcome to your very own alternative reality, Patsy Baby. What are you talking about? What have you done? It's an amazing thought, isn't it? If you'd done things differently in your life, how differently other things would have turned out. Who turned the lights out? Oh, the electricity's been cut off. What nonsense. What are you trying to pull here, Angelo? Well, you got your wish. What? Your wish. You got it. Well, you never met Barney. 
So you never married, Varney. Rita! Oh, <laughs> she can't hear you. Can't see you. Nobody can. You're out of your mind. Excuse me. Rita! Where are you? Hang on a minute, I'm coming. Rita, what's going on around here? Ed, hang on a minute, for Pete's sake. I love Rita. Remember me? <laughs> Mr. Mr. Pinner. Mr. Pinner? Mr. Angelo? Here's a bit of cash for a cup of tea, will you? <laughs> you get away from here, you... you criminal. <laughs> Coming around here after robbing a bank, begging for handouts. The very idea. Oh, 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 Rita, I'm broke. I'm hungry. I don't have a roof over my head anymore. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Thank you. Oh, get your foot out of my door. What, what you mean? I mean I'm being evicted. Evicted? You'll be thrown out of your lovely house. Oh, Mel! Melanie! Mel, come here for a sec, would you? Whoa. Mel, I, uh, I, I've got to move all this stuff out of here, and I was just wondering if maybe you could, you know, give, give me a hand. What's your worth? Melanie, I, I, I'm down to my last 50 pounds. 50 rotten pounds? You must think I'm a charity or something. Anyway, me and Jeff have got better things to do than that. Is that such as? Such as? Mind your own business. Goodbye. Dear, oh, dear. Oh, my little Melanie. She's gone right off the rails. Well, I hardly think armed robbery is setting the perfect example. I never, I never, I was innocent. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. Innocent. Oh. Understand. I don't understand. What's happened to everyone? Why are they all so different? Well, you never married Barney. So Barney wasn't there to help Rita out with that loan, remember? No, I forgot. What loan? Years back. When Rita moved into this house, Barney lent her a lot of money to help her out. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Hmm. There's a lot of things you've forgotten. Rita's had to struggle for years, and now it's come to this. What do you mean? Angelo, what are you doing to me? It was your wish. Rita, are you home? Through here, sis. It's so dark in here. What are you doing? Growing mushrooms? Uh, they cut the power off. I'm being evicted. Really, that's nice. Listen, I can't stay. I just popped in to use your phone. My portable's broken and I have to call the office urgent. Uh, I haven't got a phone, Patty. They took it away. Uh, I... I'm bankrupt, Patty. Stony broke. How oh, frightfully inconvenient. Patty, didn't you hear what I said? Of course I heard. And I have the perfect answer. You have? What? Tell me. I'll fax them from the post office. Gotta fly, sweetie. See you around sometime. Sis? 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 I wonder if you could loan me some money. You being a millionaire and all, I, I, I don't need much. Just, just... Just... Ciao, Rita. If I'm not too busy, I might see you next year. Patty. Patty, please. I'm begging you. No, scrub that. <laughs> Better make it year after next. Is it a date? Phone me. Bye! Patty! <laughs> it's a living nightmare. Mm. Oh, Mr. Pinner went to jail. Lost his job. Lost his house. Mike wasn't there to prove his innocence that time, remember? What are you saying? Oh, and Mike wasn't there also to make friends with Melanie. Uh, she started going out with Jeff Camisso. Turned into a proper little hoodlum. What do you mean, Mike wasn't there? Where was he? Where is he? There is no Mike. What are you talking about? You're crazy! Uh-uh. 
You never married Barney, right? So there is no Mike? That's a lie! Where's my son? <laughs> you don't have a son. I do! Of course I do! Mike? Mikey? Where are you? Do you see, Patty? You really were a wonderful wife. What have I done? What have I said? I didn't mean a word of it. I love Barney. I love him. Oh, take me back. Please, Angelo, take me back. I want him back. It's over. Everything I ever believed in, all over. No, Dad. No, she didn't mean it. I know she didn't. Yes, she did, son. Every word. No, she didn't, Dad. Yes, she did, Mikey. She did. No, I didn't, Barney. Barney? Mom? Barney. Mike. Oh, I'm so sorry. Honey, I'm sorry about the job. Honest, I am. The job? The job? Who cares about the job? Come here. Oh, oh Rita, I'm so sorry. Patty. Can you ever forgive me? All those things I said, I didn't mean a single word. I take them all back. Oh, I'm such a stupid fool. Hey, hey come here, baby. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. Patty, Patty! It's Mr. Chili Billy. <laughs> Patty Mason? Oh, hi. You're kidding me. Really? Wow, that's great news. She got the job. Way to go. Nice one. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, I'm very flattered, really. Only, the thing is, if I were to accept, there are one or two things I'd have to sort out. I can't work evenings or weekends. Plus, I need a minimum of six weeks holiday per year to spend more time with my family. Yes, yeah, six. I'm sorry, that's non-negotiable. I'm afraid if you can't offer me those terms, well, I'll simply have to decline your very kind offer. I see. I see. Yes, I understand. Okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well? 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 They liked the 60s outfit. They said okay. Oh! <laughs> discovered in the nick of time that there's more to life than chocolate banana boats. Oh, Patty, we are going to have such good times, all of us. Yes, please, Barney. Yes, please. Oh, oh. oh I love a happy ending. Play. Oh.